friends. Today I woke up with what I believe are two reasonable quandaries. Number one was that I didn't know if my body was really going to be able to handle the altitude that is Colorado. That seems to actually have not been a problem. Two is actually finding somewhere that serves breakfast that isn't covered in bacon. But I think I found the solution for that as well. And bagel stores always have good stuff. Okay, lack of calories, not going to be a problem. As a few of you correctly stated in the comments of this morning's upload, this morning's vlog, I am in fact not in Denver. That is correct. I am in... Louis, Louisville, Louisville, I don't know how it's pronounced. I am in the town that houses the warehouse, the business called the Pros Closet. If you've never heard of the Pros Closet, uh, the website is linked below. The Pros Closet invited me here. They brought me out to check it out and then to go ride their bikes. So how cool is that? I know I've said that already, but how cool is that? I'm going to meet someone named Caleb. I just texted him. He said, go to the Northwest entrance. I don't know what Northwest means. This can't be right. That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know what Northwest means. <laughs> so I went to the wrong door. Oh, you're good. Hi. How's it going, man? Mia. Caleb. There's so much to see. So obviously there's like all sorts of old bikes that I've upgraded to modern drivetrains on the channel. And there's like, hundreds, maybe not hundreds up there, but hundreds of old retro bikes just like sprinkled throughout this entire building. And I'm sad that those are all, all the way up there because I wanna look at them. Especially that, like this one right here. I don't even know what it is, but I love it. like cool frames hanging out on the ground. It, li it literally is my shed, <laughs> just huge. <laughs> who uh, who would have ridden in that? Modern bikes these days had all of the like stickers and decals like this stuff. That's so sick. Like a mountain bike magazine sticker. And then a specialized. So for the uninitiated, if you don't know the entire process of how bikes come into and then are eventually sold through the pros closet is, well, through one of these doors, a bike that's been purchased from someone like yourself on the website, comes in to here, that's right, right? Yeah. Maybe not specifically this door, but you know, you, you get it. This is a door, bikes come in it. There's these insane, they're like basically dog wash stations. So a bike will come in and then get washed and then go over there. Yeah. But imagine just having something like this to wash a bike at home, inside, say like it's winter, like how much better would that be? Once it's clean, custom drying area from there once the bike like a bike needs to be inspected and because there's no one here right now and i can walk through wherever i want they will come into like this section like this bike right here this rocky mountain they will get inspected by a mechanic and they will write down they'll service write every single thing that this bike will need before it can go to well like the entire next section. All of these bikes, I've just been told by Caleb, they are literally all waiting for that process. Is that correct again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just literally, we just walked through and I was like, I'm gonna try and remember everything you say 
and then I'm gonna pretend like I knew it all. Okay, what after that? Then, then they just go through the line and it's basically just, um, depending on what each individual bike needs, it'll go to the appropriate station mechanic, get worked on if it needs wheels true to go to that station. If it just needs some new bar tape, it skips everything and just goes straight to the bar oh, tape good. station. But you don't get to skip quality control. You're not allowed. So quality control being done right now. Looking good. Focus. Then it goes to merchandising or posting, which are these stations here. So it gets like a, a draft post without photos taken first. Right, and then it goes to photos. And so basically like all the details that you see when you look at like the drivetrain, what grips it has. Right, we're written has, there. Everything gets put in there. Right. And then it goes to this photo buffer right here. And then in here. You can't, can't see anything at all because my... Look at that. Way better than a Facebook Marketplace <laughs> post. Like, it's funny, when you go on the website the first time, you're like, this can't be the bike. The photos are too good. And I know, like, you guys talk about that all the time, but it is cool. Like, yeah, it's cool that it's pretty, all done here. Pretty incredible, folks. And So that sort of concludes this, the indoor portion of this visit to the pros closet. You get the idea. They will take bikes, used bikes from people, top end ones, really nice ones, make sure they're perfect for resale on their website. Once again, just check out the link below. You'll be able to see it. It's almost incomprehensible how good the photos are. Like you just, you don't feel like you're buying a used bike. I love that. This part, which is very cool for me, but also that Caleb gets to just leave this place. We are gonna go ride one of the bikes from here. I chose two. Before I got here, I was like, I kind of would like these two bikes. One is a Santa Cruz 5010. The other is an all city gravel bike. We're taking the Santa Cruz out now. Caleb says there's a spot like nearby, nine miles away that has some jumps, some single track, just overall goodness. I'm very excited. So, because I've got the coolest job in the world, we're here at like 10 a.m. at the Erie Single Track Trails. It'll be my first experience on a Santa Cruz 5010. I have yet to ride it, and I already want it. And on the seat. Pretty sick. Yeah, it's a fun little... yeah. So I did a little bit of research on Caleb before I met him, because that's what you do when you're about to go ride with someone you've never met. He runs ultra marathons and rides his bike really far, does some crazy stuff. I figured this would be the place where it's like, I'm gonna be sick. I'll show him. Nope. You can do this too. Look at that. Nice pond! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I guess there's like a lot of snakes and there'd be like rattlesnakes in the grass and stuff here. I was warned to be careful about it. Didn't really think of it too much. Boom, snake. Thank you. 